happy Monday. I'm currently heading to my first class, which is my CAD design class, and today should be a pretty fun day. I have a pretty full schedule and lots of stuff planned, so yeah, excited to take you along. In class, we continued to work in Photoshop and learned to manipulate the marks that we made a few weeks ago into repeating patterns. We have a short break in class and I desperately need some coffee. <laughs> It's lunchtime. I'm actually really having fun in the class that I just left just now. Um, I'm super excited about how my project is turning out so far and I can't wait to see it all done. Um, before I go get food, I need to go get a screen for my screen printing class and then I'm gonna sit down and eat. Today's screen printing class was so much fun. We went through the whole process of turning our black and white paintings into fabric designs. The first step was to prepare a light reactive emulsion, which is what I'm going to use to transfer my design onto my screen. When the emulsion covered screen is exposed to UV light, the part of the screen that's exposed to the light will harden, while the part of the screen that isn't exposed to the light doesn't harden and can get washed away. So if I lay my black acrylic painting down underneath the screen, the black parts will block the light. This will create a stencil of my design, which I can then use to decorate fabrics. The next step is to mix some paint for printing. I didn't really have a plan going into this and decided on a whim to make a vaguely cornflower blue color, which I ended up really liking. I then pinned my fabric to the table and started printing. such a fun time doing this and I'm really happy with how my prints turned out even if they weren't perfect. We designed our screens to create a continuous pattern so in theory if I print my design exactly side by side it'll create a seamless stripe. My design wasn't exactly matching up so I had to go in and make some changes to my screen by patching up some spots. I didn't have the chance to make another print before class was over so for next week's class I'm gonna bring some more fabric and some fun colors and keep printing. Our screen printing class just ended and honestly I'm in such a good mood because that was so much fun but now I'm off to do something not as fun. I have to go thread my loom so wish me luck. <laughs> Before heading to the weaving studio, Sophia and I decided to walk over to Koreatown and grabbed a ton of food, drinks, and desserts for dinner and for motivation. We then spent all night in the weaving room, tediously threading our little table looms, snacking, and hanging out with our classmates. I ended up having to wind some extra warp, which was a huge pain in the butt. What time is it? 12 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finally heading home. It's midnight. I'm exhausted. I will see you tomorrow. Hello, 
I'm sorry it's dark so you probably can't see me that well, but I just wanted to come back on before the day is over just to say that today was actually a really fantastic day. Um, I'd never tried screen printing before and I'm super inspired by that. I had such a great time. And even though I had loom troubles, it's really exciting to finally get started in the weaving process and actually be able to do what I came to FIT for, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, even like the Photoshop class in the morning was just like a lot of fun and feeling really good about my place here at FIT. <laughs> and I know that might sound weird, but it's really easy to like doubt yourself, especially as someone whose background is not in the arts at all. It's really easy to not feel so, not feel so confident in myself. And I don't know, it feels good to, to have a really good day, you know? <laughs> so that's all I wanted to say. And now I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am beyond tired, so I'm gonna go get something for breakfast. <laughs> Known that a mozzarella stick could be such a mood booster. Anyway, so I'm heading to campus. Um, my first class today is Japanese and we have a quiz, unfortunately. So I will see you afterwards. I just finished Japanese class and now I'm gonna grab some stuff from my locker and head to lunch. We have our leftovers from yesterday's adventures. <laughs> I then brought that additional warp that I made last night to class and the teacher's assistant and I had a really hard time putting it on my loom. I'm gonna pretend that it's not my fault and blame it on the fact that I'm using linen yarn. But honestly, this was a perfect representation of how I was feeling on this day. I was just really tired and out of it and simple things were just harder and more frustrating than they were supposed to be. I think I'm definitely feeling the stress and exhaustion of school as it's getting more and more intense. Eventually, we figured the whole warp thing out and I got the chance to weave for a bit, which was nice. Today ended up being not the best day. I feel like yesterday was like a super high and today was kind of low, but that's all right, it happens. I just hope tomorrow's a bit better, so I'll see you then. Good morning, happy Wednesday. The weather is so miserable and I am so tired, so today's a leopard crocs day. <laughs> In class, we worked on arranging our hand-drawn motifs to create a seamless repeating pattern. In other words, I spent about three hours moving little drawings of crabs all over a sheet of tracing paper until they fit together perfectly. It felt like a really strange puzzle, but it was surprisingly a lot of fun and I actually really enjoyed this process. I just had lunch and now I'm heading to my next class, which is nature studies. In this class, we each selected a flower to draw and spent three hours working on an accented line sketch. I like this class a lot because it's been really peaceful and meditative, and it's super nice to have a break like this in the middle of a week of more intense coursework. Well, that's the end of my Wednesday. I didn't end up recording all that much just because there wasn't a whole lot happening. It was just kind of like six hours of classes where we just sat down and drew stuff, so. Hopefully tomorrow there will be a little bit more to record, and until then, I will see you. <laughs> Good morning, happy Thursday. So today, I actually don't have class until later on, so I'm gonna use the morning to go fabric shopping because I need some stuff for my screen printing class, so let's go. stopped by my go-to fabric store, which is filled with gorgeous linen fabrics. I picked out one fabric that is really subtly two-toned, which I think would print really nicely. I also stopped by True Mart Fabrics, and I picked up this light blue fabric that could work as a really nice background for the blue paint that I already have mixed in the classroom. Before heading to my next class, I stopped by Whole Foods for some raspberries as well as the Print FX Studio to pick up another mood board that I had printed out for Friday's class. So I'm about to head into my next class, which is my CAD design class, and I absolutely love that class, but I feel like it's important to be fully transparent. I'm really tired. 
feel like the amount of work that we've been given this week has just gone up exponentially and I haven't really had the time to focus on myself and allow myself to rest and that's definitely piling up on me. I can feel it really hard and I feel like not sharing that experience would be pretty ingenuine because it's not fair to just pretend that everything is like perfect and fun and so I'm trying to bring those, you know? I'm tired. Yeah. Just wanted to come on here and say that. Hello again. So my CAD class just ended and now I'm heading over to Blick because I forgot that I needed something. <laughs> Big booty. <laughs> booty buns. <laughs> it just started coming down. It's like really, really coming down. <laughs> Good morning, happy Friday. I'm pretty much just gonna be in the same classroom just drawing and painting all day. So I'll see how much I can record of that, but it might not be all that exciting. Afterwards, I'm gonna head up to the weaving studio and work on one of my projects. So it's definitely gonna be a full day and I'm hoping it's a good one. Also, I'm really happy because today I feel like is one of the first days that it hasn't been completely swampy outside. So I can actually wear a cardigan and not sweat like crazy, which is, Perfect. Hopefully that means that we're coming out of the hot season and things are going to start to cool down a bit more. And I can't wait for that. So <laughs> anyway, I'll see you at school. I first went to my locker and I pulled out what felt like literally everything I had in there. And then I headed to my first class of the day where I worked on my geometric print. Our class was told to pick a theme that we would all base our projects off of and Art Deco won the vote. So this is my interpretation of Art Deco meets Tropical Birds of Paradise. I spent the first part of my morning trying to perfect my design. Coffee break. <laughs> we then learned how to make squash paints to achieve the exact colors from our chosen color palettes. We have a quick break and then it's back to class for some more painting. I actually ended up working on my crab theme print again and I finalized my design. So six hours of class later, I'm finally done, but I still have a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna go get some food with some friends and then we're off to the weaving studio. We spent the evening finishing up our first project, which was a plain weave sampler. Mine didn't turn out super cute, but hopefully I'll have some more fun with it for part two of this project. One of our classmates, Maria, is an international student from India and is a really talented singer. It was so lovely to weave and to listen to her sing. After working until pretty late in the evening, Sophia and I decided to treat ourselves to some chocolate and cocktails. We got chocolate fondue, chocolate cake that's covered in fondue, and chocolate martinis. Oh, hello, it is 1.30 in the morning and I'm actually feeling pretty good. I know I spent pretty much this whole vlog complaining about how tired I was, but I did think it was kind of necessary to end the week by doing something fun. I feel like I haven't been really giving myself a lot of time to dedicate to myself to either like take a break or do things that I genuinely want to do for fun. So today I wanted to make an effort to do something for me. So my friend and I, we went to that really fun bar that I showed you pictures of. We drank some chocolate, we ate some chocolate. We had a really good time just like chit chatting and yeah, I just like really needed that, you know? School's just been pretty intense. There've been a lot of extremely time consuming projects and I've been trying to make the best of it, but it also does feel good to just like not think about school at all for a minute. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you next week. And until then, bye. <laughs>